Hey folks, Matt Sharp here with another Pacific Angler Friday Fishing Report. Happy New Year's, everybody. You guys are seeing this on New Year's Eve. If it's nowhere near New Year's Eve, click up here. This is a link to all the Friday Fishing Reports. We do it most weeks, so I should have something more up to date for you. 2021, it was interesting. I was hoping it was better than 2020, and yeah, it really wasn't. To all those folks getting nailed out in the valley, uh, our hats are still off for you and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the fundraising that was happening that you guys helped out with that you guys made happen there was about fifteen thousand dollars raised for flood relief and for conservation related to flood relief in the fisheries so big thumbs up there we'll talk about that a little bit at the beginning of the report i am going to talk about a little bit of the fishing because though it's cold fishing this one was really cool but it comes with some caveats because if you do it wrong, it's just wasting your time or at least, well, enjoying nature but not catching fish. So we're gonna talk about the Sea to Sky Highway. We're gonna talk about the Chilliwack because there's been some weird water levels coming off this storm that made the Boxing Day Derby really, really challenging. Uh, but we're gonna take a peek at that. And last but not least, we're going to focus on what was good out of 2021. And that is your guys and girls fish pictures. I've got some amazing stuff. Uh, at the end of this report, we're gonna make the call who gets the $50 gift certificates for the best fish picture, the best fishing action shot, the best fishing scenery shot, as well as the under 16 category. It should be fun. If you guys wanna see more reports like this, consider hitting the subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's get into it. All right, guys and girls, thanks for tuning in with me this week. Cheers to New Year's. I hope you guys are all celebrating. You guys are seeing this on Friday, which I believe is New Year's Eve. I'm filming. Mm. Got to get a little beer in me. I'm filming for Thursday night. So if it's nowhere near Thursday night, I don't trust any of the weather predictions that I'm going to make because it's been a little bit interesting. What do we got, though? It's kind of crazy. Uh, we're in for another bout of interestingness i uh, interestingness is the only way i can say it because we're in a unique time i haven't seen weather like this and i have been watching the weather at a very close level for the last 15 years and we are going to see a beautiful day on friday but cold you guys are going to be cold but it's a good day to get out there you got to do some holiday shopping post holiday shopping some boxing day shopping we still have some amazing deals i'm going to throw a couple of the deals up here because it's well worth tuning in for we've got waders we've got jackets we've got boots we've got some really good stuff that's still on sale we all appreciate everyone that came out for the boxing week sale because it was amazing in the conditions but there's some still some really good deals to be had but negative three today as you guys are watching this clear beautiful sunny I'll take it. I'm going to sit out on my patio, bundled up, and have a beer. Uh, Saturday, a little bit more snow and maybe quite a bit more. Five to ten millimeters. And so get out those shovels. And then Sunday, it turns a little bit warmer. We're going to hit four degrees on Sunday and we're going to get some rain. Now, what does that mean in fishing world? Well, it's kind of interesting. Let's look at the Chilliwack first because it had some very, very odd river level clarities associated with the Boxing Day Derby. And they have postponed that because it just wasn't conditions you can catch fish. Now we can't take that as a metric for what the steelhead season is going to be. Uh, we have heard good reports prior to the weird blowout. There were guys getting fish and having their guides freeze up and reels freeze up, but still catching fish. And I'm hopeful that we're going to see things settle. Uh, you're going to see, again, beautiful, clear skies very cold on Friday as you guys are watching this. That should suck the river right up. Should drop it down into lower levels. Taylor's got more details in the written version of the report where he, what he's looking for, what he's hoping for moving forward. A little bit of snow for you guys on Saturday and then a dump of rain. I'm not sure what this dump of rain is going to do. It's a little bit warm, four degrees. It's hard to call. Uh, all the numbers have been reset both for river 
uh, conditions as well as just general water levels when we're looking at the Fraser Valley. So we'll see what happens. Throw it out to the Squamish and it's a similar story. We're gonna see negative five, a little bit colder. We're gonna see 10 to 15 millimeters of snow, or sorry, 10 to 15 centimeters of snow, sorry. And uh, and then negative two, 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 two. So pretty darn wintry conditions. If you guys get out, it's going to be small presentations, very, very picky presentations. If you guys are going the steelhead front, that's not Squamish bound. Those fish do not show up that early, but they will show up in their valley. I want you guys to actually throw big stuff. Go move fast, throw big stuff, learn the river. The early fish have this weird tendency to not really care about water temperatures. And if you throw big stuff and move fast, you can do actually do really well. It's also a great time for scouting. That said, these conditions are not ideal for getting out. So uh, put on those snowshoes, have some fun. Fishing in the snow is just a cool experience, but I don't expect great reports over the next two weeks. Okay, so that's that. Let's talk a little bit about the money you guys raised and a big thank you to everyone out there who supported it. And you guys supported it by liking the Instagram posts, maybe throwing a bid in, even if you weren't one of the winners. We donated a bunch of guided trips to support flood relief. And we raised actually over $16,000, which is awesome. It's such a big number. I didn't think we could pull it off. And that is going to go to the Pacific Salmon Foundation. I got to pull it up here on my phone to know exactly who we donated it to. Here it is. So we've, we have supported the Fraser Valley Angling Guides Association. Those were the guys and girls who got out there right out on the front lines. We're pulling families out of the houses. It brought tears to my eyes. There's nothing better than a jet boat for getting into weird shallow spots. They should have like rescue teams of jet boaters and we could not have had a better crew out that way to do that work. So we're gonna give some money to those folks. Uh, I know a lot of gas, I know a lot of maintenance on their boats went into it. We're also gonna give some of the Pacific Salmon Foundation because they're gonna be doing a bunch of fisheries, uh, habitat related work out there, which is awesome. And they're a great foundation to support. And lastly, we are going to be giving a bunch to the United Way of BC Food Relief, which just should help some of those families. Uh, again, Thank you guys for the support. It's really important you guys tune in in a big way. Big thumbs up. Okay, good news. Let's get into some good news because 2021 has not been all that good news. But there was still some epic fishing. Some really cool times that you guys spent out in the world, out in the wilderness, out in nature with fishing rods in your hands. And so when we pull it up, you guys came on board with a ton of pictures. I wasn't expecting as many. Last year, we got a few hundred. This year, we got a few hundred more. Uh, we had epic sturgeon. I don't know who this is. We had epic flop shots. Uh, let's see here. This one made me giggle. Uh, what else have we got here? This is the best flop shot I've ever seen. Well, I've seen a few, but hat, hats off. You're a hero. That is one of the best flop shots. I hope the fish made it out okay, but we can still giggle over it. These dudes with the kid's rod, you not entered in the kid's portion of the competition, but that is an epic bass. Now, this one was an entry to the uh, Future Anglers, the under 16 competition. Yes, there is a baby in that belly, and I thought it was just great, but no, you do not get entered in the under 16 competition. We have to be very, very diligent in our rule taking. Uh, what else have I got for you? Rodney, you're an idiot. I love you to death. I know you got better pictures than that, but that's a hero herring shot. And we've got Ray with his bust up leg holding a Chinook. I love that one too. Um, this one was super cool. I, I couldn't put an orca in the scenery shots just because of the political climate right now, but that is stunning. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got this one. Yes make out with that beautiful little, I don't know what kind of fish that is. Leave comments down below of what that is. I'm sure someone's going to tell me. Uh, what else have we got for you guys on the goofy level? Here's Hugh. He's out golfing with his fly rod. I thought that was kind of fun. We all know where that is. And uh, yeah, there's a crazy octopus um, that was released, but uh, that's still kind of a cool shot. But you guys are here for the winners. They're really good photos. Those were the fun photos. Let's start off with the kids section because the kids section is really cool. These are the future anglers and I want to throw a bunch of these guys up. Uh, look at this pose. 
this girl's nailed it. She's caught a huge fish. I love this. Uh, good job, Colin. I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, Jessie's second trout ever. And yeah, she is pumped. Uh, who else have we got here? Oh, look at that shot. That one almost won. That was in the running. And uh, we've got a bunch more kids here showing off their catches. I just love this stuff. I could spend hours. This one's beautiful. I uh, This one was also another winner. Almost winner, so should I say. Um, what else have we got here? You guys aren't kids. Oh, look at this darling. But the winner, and let me see if I can find... Oh, this is another good one. I'm sorry, I'm missing so many. There's so many good kid shots. If you guys sent them in, I was giggling my butt off. Look at this trout. I'm just going to pull this one up. It didn't win, but this is a monster. Uh, good job, guys. Good job, Chad and son. Paul, Paul, this one almost won. So I'll put this one up for a second. Paul, you did. Thanks for sending this in. We love you. Uh, this is father son at its best. Um, and this was in the runnings for the win. But let me see if I can find the winner here. I'm going to throw all these up because they're so. Look at this one. That's so awesome. I could just play these. I'm just going to slide them through because there's so many cool ones. But I want to get you guys to the. What we think is the best. And. I picked this one. This is your future fishing guide, ready to rock and roll. I This put a smile on my face. I threw it in front of the staff and they were all like, yeah, that's the one. And so a uh, big shout out to uh, Brock Hildebrandt, my nearly two-year-old daughter out coho fishing this year. She had hold on the rod the whole time, wasn't up for negotiation. Pretty much my favorite picture. Well, it's our favorite picture as well. We've got a $50 gift certificate for you. Sitting at the shop, please come down, get some fishing gear that that young lady can use. And uh, thank you so much for sending it in. Okay, let's talk about the scenery shots because again, I am just beaten down by so many cool shots. Let's see if I can find them here. This one, stunning. You guys sent this last 48 hours. I think this is one of the coolest lake shots I've ever seen. Love the clouds. I love this shot. I am going to put that on one of my backgrounds. Good job, Andrew. Colin, this one's cool too. I love this one. Nails it. Um, getting out there with the outcast. You had a bunch that were in the top 10. This one's super cool too. Super chill. I know where that spot is. Don't worry. You haven't given away your secrets. Uh, this one's super chill. I loved all of these shots and I could literally go on for days. But the winner, and this was uh, under big debate of best scenery shot. Here it is. So we ran this by all the guys and this was the one that made our hearts sort of tingle. There's something about this shot that's just stunning. And uh, the joke from Taylor was, hey, Jimmy, get up that hill and take a picture and we'll turn it black and white. It'll be epic. And yeah, that's what you guys nailed. Uh, so the winner of the best scenery shot to DDSMA, DDSMAK at hotmail.com. I just gave your email out to everybody. Uh, Dixon, $50 gift certificate down at the store. We love this shot. It is so cool. Well done, sir. All right, we're getting into the fun stuff. Let's talk fish pictures because there's a billion fish pictures and it was really hard to choose. I kind of want to rip through all of them, but I won't. The winner, and I think we're going to go with this one. Now, I, I, actually, I got another one I want to show you guys because Corey, my buddy Corey, you didn't win, but you were close. Let's find Corey's fish because this one's kind of special and I want to talk about it for a second. All right. Let's talk about this picture for a bit. So this is sent in by Corey, and this is a donkey of a Chinook. And what's important about this picture, we got a bunch of big fish pictures, and I'm really cool with dudes keeping their catch and girls, but I'm also really cool with folks letting a big catch like this go. And we live in a day and age where the genetics of this guy going back into the ocean is super special. Now, Corey, you were going to win... But we decided not to give it to you, not because I don't want to give you a $50 gift certificate, but because this one I felt was really special. And here it is here. Simple. 
fish isn't amazing. Guys holding the fish in the water, beautiful symmetry, really cool shot. And so Colin uh, from CMNAM at Shaw.ca. Uh, here's my photo. Keep them wet. He had a bunch of other really cool ones. Thanks, Colin Nam. You are the winner uh, for this beautiful shot of a released trout. Uh, big thumbs up. $50 gift certificate uh, is waiting for you at the store. Corey, we can cry about this over a beer later. Uh, okay, now the last one is the action shot. And I, again, I'm going to say this is the best shot out of the bunch. And it was ironic because because the friend of the store came in. He came in about a couple months ago. He said, I got the competition winner. And we were like, ah, you don't, you don't. And then he showed it to us. And I said, yeah, you totally do. But you guys gave him a run for his money. So I'm going to share some of the best action shots because there are so many good ones. Um, like, look at this one. Guys, this is epic. Like, that almost nailed it but number one for the action shot and i think the best shot of the year uh, is gonna go to our buddy brian host and let me see if i can find this here for you guys and here it is so i've had professional photographers look at this and what this is he's a little bit cheating we're gonna call him out on it is I believe this was from a film reel, but this is still the coolest shot you can take. The puppies are in the background, and uh, this is my favorite shot of the year. Brian, come down and get your gift card. We've been holding it for you for a while. And again, thank you so much to everyone that sent it in. I could literally do this for an hour, and every single shot would be amazing. So if you guys sent in photos, you didn't see them here, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to put a few more of them up here that were honorable mentions in case I missed something absolutely epic. And uh, again, thank you for a good 2021. If you guys like what you saw here and you want to see more reports like this, I'm going to do a bunch more in the new year. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to catch you guys at the end of January. I got some time off, but uh, yeah, get out there, get fishing, enjoy that snow.